Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another tutorial video of mine. So, in today's video, I will be showing you how you can actually stream your PS Vita screen onto your PC. That's right, you heard me. In today's video, I will show you how you can be able to record your Vita and upload videos and everything like that that you have ever wanted without needing a capture card or a PS Vita TV. I know this kind of seems impossible, but it's it's finally working now and there is a solution for this. So yeah guys, I hope you all will enjoy watching this tutorial video and let's get on with it. So I will go over now to my PC first and then I will show you what files you need to download, etc for your PS Vita and we'll start from there. Once you are on your PC, go ahead and open up a browser of your choice. In my case, I'm gonna open up Google Chrome and then you're gonna type in the URL bar, this address. I will link it in the video description so you can find it there so you don't have to type it in. But yeah, once you open up this page, you will get all of these different options. And what we'll be downloading is actually an application called outplugin.vpk. So what this app really does is it lets you install plugins on your PS Vita with ease, without having to fiddle around with the settings and everything else and so on. So what you have to do is basically click on autoplugin.vpk and it will download automatically. So for my case, I have already downloaded out plugin.vpk and I have already made a folder here called tutorial uh, for the purpose of this video. So what you need to do with this plugin is that you have to transfer it over to your Vita. Now go to your Vita and open up Vita shell and then connect either via USB or FTP I already sh showed in my previous vid uh, video how you can connect to your PC. So I'm pretty sure you should know by now how to connect with, with Vita Shell. If you don't, then refer to my previous video. Once you have connected your Vita to your PC, go ahead and transfer over the VPK file onto your Vita. And like I said previously, I already pre showed how you can do all this. And if you don't know, then check my previous video and I will uh, and I showcase there in detail how you can do this. So, uh, we already have a transferred over out plugin onto our Vita. So now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to our Vita and install the app. All right, now go ahead and disconnect your Vita from your PC. Press cancel, there we go. And we have the out plugin uh, right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna Go ahead and press X and we want to install this package. Press yes. So same procedure as in my previous video. I'm pretty sure you should know by now if you have watched my previous video. If you haven't, then go ahead and watch my other video. And once it's done installing, it will take a while depending on how big the file sizes all right it's gonna take a while there we go so we have installed out plugin now on our Vita we can go ahead and exit out of Vita shell like this now if we go ahead and scroll down to the bottom, we'll see that we have auto plugin right here installed. Uh, so let's go ahead and open up auto plugin. All right, it's booting up. And here we go. So we got four different options. Uh, we got plugins for PS Vita. Uh, we got plugins for PSP and extras. What you're gonna pick is plugins for PS Vita. Go ahead and pick this one. And then install plugins. 
you can also uninstall pl uh, the plugins that you have installed. So basically this app is pretty handy for installing plugins on your Vita without having to fiddle around with your computer and your Vita. It's a very co convenient app, but we're gonna go ahead and install plugins. Now, what you're gonna go, uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and locate a plugin called something like this. Let's go ahead and look it up. Oh, also, by the way, if you play, uh, press on the shoulder button, so you can switch between if you want to install on your PS Vita memory card or your inter uh, internal storage. Well, if you have a PS Vita Slim, then you can do this. But if you, if you have like a PS Vita 1000, then you can only install on your memory card. But I'm going to go ahead and ins install all my internal storage. So, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to locate a plugin called something like this. Let's go ahead and look it up. Um, there we go. This is the plugin that we have to install. It's called UGCD underscore dot uvc by zerpy version 1.2 uh, and it says even the, uh, the description says right there it says enables you to stream your vita screen to your pc now go ahead and press x on it and there we go we have installed the plugin now we can go ahead and exit out of out the plugin the application exit your Vita will restart, yes. All right, so now it's rebooting. Yo, <laughs> yeah, you can also set a custom boot message, but that's for another video. Okay, so your, uh, now that your Vita has restarted, now you, you should go over to your PC, so I'm going to go over to my PC and I will showcase you the next steps that you should be doing once you have installed the plugin. Now that you are on your PC, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and open up a browser of your choice and then you're going to go ahead and go to this URL on your browser so i'm gonna go ahead and link it in the description but basically you're gonna go ahead and type in obsproject.com and here you will get this application called U uh, obs studio so you're gonna go ahead and download it to your pc i'm pretty sure you know how to install apps on your pc so i'm not gonna go over that but once you have installed obs studio on your pc go ahead and open up OBS right here. I already have it open here now If you don't know how OBS works, then you should check other tutorial videos on how This application works and everything because I'm not gonna go over it in this video For uh, because I'm just gonna show you how you can stream your Vita on your PC for for tutorials on OBS and stuff like that you have to check yourself, but once you have uh, connected your Vita to your PC and everything like that, and you have installed OBS Studio, what you're gonna go uh, gonna do is you're gonna go to Sources right here, and then you're gonna right click, and then highlight Add, and then you're gonna go down to Video Capture so uh, Device. Now, if, if you click here, you, it says Create New. You can rename it anything you want but you're gonna go ahead and create new right here and then it says device right here so if you click on this tab right here you will see PS Vita here and if you click on PS Vita you can see right here that your screen is now projecting on inside OBS and this is pretty much how you record your PS Vita so as you can see it even moves and everything so it's it's legit it's really working so you don't really need a capture card or anything expensive like that it's pretty sim it's pretty simple to get working and it's i'm really happy that this finally released 
<laughs> now it's much easier you, you can record PS Vita stuff without having to shell out a lot of cash on your stuff but yeah uh, you can do a lot of stuff in OBS and this for example right here I just scaled up the window and yeah that's pretty much it this is how you install P uh, PS Vita plugin that lets you stream your PS Vita screen onto your PC so I hope you all enjoyed watching this tutorial I hope it was very informative and thanks for the support on my previous video actually on how to hack your Vita. I will be making more tutorials about hacking stuff for the Vita so definitely stay on the lookout on my channel. If you enjoyed watching this video then feel free to show your support by leaving a like on this video and I'll see you all next time.